going viral Minecraft life hacks and tricks that everyone thinks are too good to be true, but are actually 100% real. Watch until the end to upgrade your life to first class. Parrots can be found in jungles at Y level really? 70 or higher. I had no idea. Parrots on your shoulder are displayed Aww, in the inventory. So parrots cute. dance to jukeboxes uh -huh. with music. Dance discs. parrots Meat dance. Seeds, that melon is their best seeds, pumpkin feature. seeds, and bee shirt seeds contain really? parrots. You can use one any kind of three accessory. Seeds. You don't parrots just have to use wait, what? I didn't parrots know. Parrots will get off your shoulder if you take damage or jump. Huh. Parrots will detect a creeper within wait. a 20 block what? radius and then replicate. They can detect creepers even if you can't see them and save you? No. Do you want to play Minecraft with me and be in videos? Then just click the join button below this video next to my profile to become an EY fan. When you click join, you will unlock access to play Minecraft with me on my EY fan only server. On my server, you can be in videos or play Skyblock Survival Creative Mode or PvP with me. And you can join the server on any device, including phones, tablets, consoles, and computers. Plus, you will unlock secret videos and live streams that you won't see unless you join as an EY fan. You also get a shiny EY fan only badge next to your YouTube name when you leave comments and get all these rare EY stream emojis to use. But do you want even more? If you click join and scroll down, you can choose to be an EY mega fan to get a shout out at the end of a video, talk with me on my VIP Discord and unlock the ability to watch my videos before they get released. So click the join button below this video to become an EY fan and play Minecraft with me. But I need to see this to believe it. So let's go ahead and spawn in a parrot. And I think just the EY strip class. You know what? I'm naming you EY parrot. Welcome to the world. Let's sit him down. And you know, to really test this out, it's supposed to work in a 20 block radius. Well, what if the parrot can't even see the creeper? So let's go ahead and we'll hide a creeper inside of this mountain right here and block him up so he can't escape. So here's our creeper. I'm pretty sure that's within 20 blocks. And now we'll jump over here. And apparently our parrot will hiss the same sound as a creeper to warn us. So let's listen in. Do you hear anything? Speak to me, parrot. Speak to me. I'm I'm not hearing anything. I'm not hearing any creeper sounds. Maybe he has to be on my shoulder? Jump on. All right, whisper in my ear. Oh my goodness, it worked! <laughs> Guys, that actually freaked me out. I thought a creeper was about to explode, but no, the parrot recreated the creeper sound to warn us that there was a creeper nearby. It actually works. Okay, so you have to be in survival and the parrot has to be on your shoulder, but as long as you got those two things, your parrot will warn you when a creeper's nearby. That is awesome, guys. Hey, white parrot, you and I are about to make a great team. Yo, that automatic bridge is dope. I want one of those. But I may not be able to have one because they didn't actually show us how to build the automatic bridge. But I rewatched the video and saw they were using a bunch of tripwire hooks. So first out, we're going to build our area for the lava. So it was one, two, three, four blocks wide wide and two blocks deep and then you make this as long as you want so we're gonna make ours about this long and then you want to go ahead and fill this bottom area with lava now obviously you can do that just using lava buckets but because i don't want to waste your time let's go ahead and use some commands so we've set this out now and then what they had to do is place pistons on the side here which obviously we're pushing forward the glass blocks or whatever block you want to use for your bridge so let's go ahead we're going to break out this and this here you only need it to be one block so let's go ahead and set air there Boom, and do the exact same thing on the other side here, guys. And so ultimately, you're having this five block long area with the four blocks in the center being lava. Then you just want to go ahead and place sticky pistons facing it towards the center or wherever your lava is going to be. And you want to do the exact same thing on the other side. Once that's done, guys, we had a bunch of glass coming off the side of these sticky pistons. Glass is obviously going to look the best because it makes it look like you're walking on top of lava. Finally, guys, here is the secret source. They had any kind of block above these pistons. They were using stone bricks so we'll go ahead and copy them just so it's exactly the same as their build but here it is guys on these blocks are going to be trip wire hooks now these are obviously going to be able to activate those sticky pistons below and then what you need to do is place string on this sticky piston so it's floating above the lava you can see it's very hard to see but it should be floating above the lava here on that and those two trip wires will hook and now we're going to do that with all the other trip wires done now it's time to see if this actually works or whether i'm going to fall to my, my very hot death, death. So let's go ahead and switch into survival mode. And we're gonna risk it all. Three, two, one, and fingers crossed! Yo, guys, check it out! <laughs> that is so cool! Guys, look at that. The bridge literally moves to just save you from falling in the lava, and then behind you, it disappears. You just need a giant one of these. Everyone needs one of these. This will literally make you look like a god. I love this. I'm adding this to my world. Here's how you can cheat in a hardcore. What? Even after you die, you can still after act you're as dead. cheat. But in hardcore, so after, after you dead, die, the world gets deleted. The game, click spectate world, escape, uh -huh. and then go to open to land. Okay. From here, you can turn cheats on and Wait, then hit start land. What? World. 
What no you've done right is you've access to any command in the huh? game. And you can cheat in your so even after world. you die, you can just you can even go back to the spot where you die and get all of your loot That's back. Really good, so. Once you're done getting everything out of creative, you can go back to survival and then reload into your world this and the cheats will right. be gone. Here's where it's hard and I'm gonna load it and try to use it. So nobody knows you ever use cheats. And now I can try to play this game mode and nothing will come. Crazy. So here is our game mode. It's currently on survival. We're gonna click on it once to switch to hardcore, and you can see here it's the same as survival mode, but it's locked at hardest difficulty, and you only get one life. You can even see here that this allowed cheats button is grayed out. I cannot turn cheats on. It's impossible. But apparently this guy's telling me I can just by opening the world to land. So here we are in hardcore. Now let's say I somehow die, right? Which would be most unfortunate. I'll see you guys in a second. And I am dead. And as you can see, you can only go to the title screen or you can spectate the world. So basically, you can just look around. You can't actually play because, well, you die. But apparently, that isn't the case. If we go ahead and open to pause menu and click open to land, and look at this, we can actually choose allow cheats on. Start land world. And let's give this a go. So if we open up chat now, we can type in slash game mode creative. No. What? I just restored a hardcore world. I can't believe that just happened. Bro, and I can get anything out of the creative inventory and it's legit and you can place it. It's real, it actually, what, what? Yo. And then I can switch straight back into survival mode and now it looks like I'm back in hardcore and if I leave the world and then join back into it, that should work. I'm totally fine, I'll still have that birch wood. This, this is crazy, this is literally breaking Minecraft. Bro. Whoa! Look at how realistic this Minecraft is, guys. Like, what even are those blocks? Quartz stairs, I think. It is really hard to tell with this texture pack. So we're putting those on the bottom. The top, we got some glowstone. Or, I don't know, it kind of looks like an oatmeal block. But we don't talk about that! Oh my goodness. And now we've got spruce trapdoors. Guys, just look at the grass. Look at how realistic that is. I don't even know what they're building, but look at that grass. It's beautiful. I can't tell whether this is real Minecraft or an animation because of how smooth and silky it is, guys. Holy moly. Okay, we've got spruce trapdoors across the top as well. And now we're placing in water. But why? What are we building? Oh no, that water's gonna go everywhere, guys. No way. Okay, wait. It's not. This has to be an animation. It's a floating aquarium. You can't do that in Minecraft. Or can you? That aquarium looked awesome. Mainly because it broke the laws of Minecraft and the water didn't flow out everywhere. So let's get started. I'm pretty sure we had some quartz stairs down the bottom in a 3 by 3 square like this. Now, obviously, this is going to look exactly the same as the video because, I mean, that was crazy realistic. But we can try our best. Then we had some dirt and we go 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks up and place glowstone on the top. Now, I think we placed upside down stairs like so here going all around facing towards that inner dirt block. So they're facing down like that. And then we had quartz stairs are facing upwards again surrounding that glowstone block like so. So it should look something like this. Now we can go ahead and destroy the dirt block in the center here and we're going to surround the outside sides with these spruce trap doors. Already guys this looks like a super modern uh, fancy aquarium build but in normal Minecraft I mean the water is just going to flow out everywhere. You would normally need like barrier blocks or you know some sort of other invisible blocks to stop the water from flowing out. Unless this is actually possible. Now, there was one interesting thing they did before placing the water coming down from the top. They waterlogged these bottom stair blocks. And I think that might have to do with this. So if we go ahead and place the water there, you can see, look at that. That water is flowing out everywhere. It certainly is not staying here. That aquarium isn't going to work. But I think it might be possible because they actually went ahead and placed the water in these stair blocks at the bottom first. Essentially waterlogging these blocks. So you've got to be really careful. But once you got it, it'll look like that. And let's try this again, guys. All right, we're going to place the water from the top. Three, two, one, bang! Hey, it's not flowing. All right, let's try again. Oh my goodness. It's actually working, guys. Because we've waterlogged the bottom blocks, the water isn't flowing everywhere, making this absolutely awesome floating aquarium design. That looks so sick. You can grow some kelp here in the center. Born in a bunch of tropical fish to swim around our aquarium. Oh my god, that is the best design I've ever seen. Okay, um, there is one small flaw. If the fish are stupid, they will swim out of the aquarium. Um, are you done? <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, we've got some very dumb fish in a hand, but nevertheless, this still looks so cool. What stupid Minecraft logic do we have now? Okay, we're chucking a bunch of diamond armor into this shulker here. And no, I don't, don't think that up, it's gonna burn! Okay. Well, that was a waste of diamonds. Okay, how, how does that not make sense? It's going into lava, it's gonna burn. Okay, now we're putting netherite armor into this shulker box and breaking this, and that's gonna burn it too. It doesn't survive, only netherite on its own survives, right? No? So you're telling me from now on, if I ever die in a lava, as long as I've got netherite items in my shulker box, all my items are absolutely fine. They won't burn. That is awesome, guys. 
I mean, I never thought about it before, but it actually makes sense because, you know, if you go ahead and chuck any kind of netherite armor or netherite item into lava, it doesn't actually burn. You guys can see it'll float totally fine. Netherite is immune to lava. But we need to actually test it because I've never actually seen anyone do this. To be fair, netherite is a pretty new item, so maybe people haven't tested this yet. But let's give it a go. All right, so in this sugar box, we've got ourselves some diamond armor. And over here, we've got ourselves some netherite armor. We'll switch it to survival. Dig this bad boy up and, uh... Well, that was a waste of diamond armor. <laughs> now we'll dig up our netherite armor and... I mean, it kind of worked. I mean, the shulker box burned, but the netherite item survived. I mean, it was kind of true. The netherite armor survived, but that's just netherite. The shulker box didn't. So that means this was clickbait. But how did they make their shulker box survive? It doesn't make any sense unless it actually worked. So I rewatched the video and noticed something very suspicious. They renamed the shulker. Now you may be thinking, how is that suspicious, Jordan? People rename their shulkers all the time, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm renaming mine to subscribe, which is exactly what you guys should do for me exposing this clickbait. Beta. That's right, I said click beta. Because he didn't rename it for looks. No, he renamed it so he could have a secret command block that would have been hidden under the ground that has this command in it, which essentially means that anything named subscribe that is an item is going to be invulnerable when chucked into lava. So it doesn't matter what item's in here, when that shulker box goes into the lava, it's going to survive. And you guys can see I can jump in and pick that shulker box right up. So it doesn't matter what I put in here. He made it look like it was netherite armor doing it, but it actually makes no difference because thanks to that command block, it's totally invisible and it's not going to die. Invis- I didn't say invisible. I meant uh, invincible, not invisible. <laughs> now, I do not stand for clickbait on this channel, guys. So make sure you subscribe so we can end clickbait on YouTube. But let's move on to some actually working life hacks. So I thought for a long time you could mine wood faster if you used a wooden sword to do it. But not until <laughs> That's today did stupid. I actually test it. stupid. Why would that work? Turns out you can mine wood a lot faster Excuse than me. a wooden sword. What? All right, so we've got our total of one, two, three, four, five wooden blocks. Let's see how long it takes for the fist. All right, one... Two. <laughs> Ten. You know what? I'm, I'm too lazy to dig up these last two blocks. You know what? This experiment is now only three blocks. <laughs> Guys, I'm just too bored, all right? It took 10 seconds to dig that up with that fist. Let's try it with the sword here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost half the time using a wooden sword. Like, what? Apparently, you should start using swords to mine up your wood. Never thought I'd be saying that. What are we building here? Oh, no, obsidian. I know what it is. It's a nether portal. Gonna have flinted still. Wait, what? He placed the fire, then broke it again. What is that, dude? What is going on? His game is lagging like crazy. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is he actually seeing through the portal right now? Wait, this is a secret nether portal you can get in Minecraft if you place the fire but break it before it has time to generate the portal. You, it, you can see through the portal? That is so cool! So basically, instead of leaving the flint and steel like so, and letting the portal generate, we need to break the fire before it has time to make the portal. Three, two, one, BAM! That didn't work. BAM! I can't do it! Even if I switch into survival, ready? Yeah, and now I can't break it. His fire actually stayed there for a solid couple of seconds. Mine is literally disappearing in, like, faster than light. You barely even see the fire. Like, some of these times, you don't even see it at all. I, I don't think this works, but how did it, how did he do it? Maybe there is a way? I think I found a way to make it work. Check this out. Wabam! Have a look at this, guys. A fully immersive of portals. You can go in and out of the nether and actually look through. It looks so dope. Now, you may be thinking, uh, EY Stream, 10 seconds ago, they didn't work for you. Why does it work now? Well, because we did get clickbait. You can't do this in vanilla Minecraft. This is a mod called Immersive Portals. It is really cool, and I'd highly recommend you download it if you know how to get mods, because, I mean, I mean, that just looks awesome. But, you know what? We all want some more working life hacks. Unfortunately, though, we're out of time for today's video. So if you guys want to see more, make sure to watch the next video. I'll see you there. Till then, AI stream out. Bye!